Dangerous Jamaican Women, Part 1. 1. Kathy Ann Smith. Smith is a female district constable in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. She is the baby mother of Noel Maitland, another district constable who was charged with the murder and unlawful burial of a corpse in connection to the disappearance of Donnelly Donaldson. Although to this day she has not been named as a suspect in the murder, it is alleged that she played a big part in Donnelly's untimely demise. As she and Donnelly was in a love triangle with Noel Maitland. Follow Jamaican True Stories. Eyewitness accounts claim that Kathy Ann confronted and injured Donnelly Donaldson on multiple occasions and kept track of Donnelly's whereabouts. She always seemed to know when Donnelly was at Noel Maitland's apartment in Chelsea Manor the place where Donnelly Donaldson was last seen. Then there's this. It's a fake page, and I'm going to send you all the videos and information that I have in my phone. Let me tell you something. You see when Donnelly was killed at that apartment? So you're saying that Donnelly was killed? Donnelly was killed at the apartment, and Noel was not there. Noel was not at the apartment? Noel left Donnelly at the apartment, and Noel's baby mother went to the apartment because she got information that Donnelly was at the apartment from the night. She went to the apartment and they had an altercation there. And it happened that Noel, baby mother, killed Donnelly and called Noel when she realized that Donnelly was dead. It is happened that she strangled Donnelly to death. Constable Brown, how, how long have you been a member of the JCF? So I've been a member of the JCF for seven years, and it has been a seven rough and stressful years. I went overseas and I wasn't going to return, but I came back for only one reason, and that was because my mother was sick. But I've told myself that if this man don't go down, something is wrong in this country. My God, Constable Brown, you, you know that you have now broke a case on what mer merits do you can you confirm that donnelly was strangled listen noel best friend that you showed his picture since night he and one of my fellow co-worker that we are close is close to him and he confirmed everything when we were reasoning on you last week friday my god so you're saying that constable Williams confided in another constable yes. and confirmed that Donnelly was strangled to death by Kathy and Smith. Yes, and they both take her up into a garbage bag. They removed the settee fittings and they placed her in the settee and let the truck man dispose of her body. I was trying to get where did the body dispose, but they refused to give that information. Mighty God! To Jean and Panton. Panton, who resides in Upper St. Andrew, was a wealth advisor at Stocks and Securities Limited, a full-service wealth management, investment, and advisory firm located in Kingston, Jamaica. The former SSL wealth advisor was indicted for three counts of larceny as a servant, three counts of falsification of accounts, five counts of forgery. Five counts of uttering forged documents, three counts of engaging in transaction involving stolen property and three counts of breaches of the Cyber Crimes Act. She is accused of fleecing roughly $3 billion USD from more than 30 SSL clients over a 10-year period, including Olympic legend Usain Bolt who has lost over $12.7 million USD from his bank account with the firm. 3. Jody and Jackson Jackson is a 28-year-old bar operator and nail technician from Anchovy Land Settlement in Portland, Jamaica. She is charged in relation to the deaths of 28-year-old Shed A. Pink of Campbell Avenue and 23-year-old Keanu James King of Johnstown District, both in Portland, Jamaica. On May 24, 2023 at about 11 p.m., both victims were playing dominoes with other people when Jackson drove a rented Toyota Fielder motor car to the area. A man exited the car and opened gunfire at them, according to the police. The target was Shed A. Pink, who was pregnant and carrying a baby that belonged to a man that both she and Jackson was in a love triangle with. Keanu James King was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. 
They were assisted to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. An investigation was launched, and Jackson was taken into custody. Jackson gave a statement in the presence of her former attorney in which she shared certain incriminating details regarding her involvement in the murder. For Coyote Satchel. Satchel is a 30-year-old dental assistant from Podmore St. Andrew and Twickenham Park St. Catherine. She is charged with the abduction and murder of 8-year-old Danielle Rowe. She was in a situation ship with Danielle's father. It is alleged that Satchel abducted 8-year-old Danielle Rowe from Breton Primary School in St. Catherine. Follow Jamaican True Stories. Danielle's body was later found in the streets of St. Andrew with her throat slashed, battling for life. She was taken to the hospital where she passed away a few days later. Satchel was apprehended and identified during an ID parade. 5. Nadine Geddes and her two daughters and other co-accused. On June 19th at about 8.30 p.m., 36 years old Tamara Geddes was killed when a lone gunman entered her room where she was with her 10-year-old daughter and robbed her of her cell phones. And $16,000 cash that alleged killer also reportedly demanded sex and was refused. Nadine Geddes, sister of Tamara Geddes, is a 40-year-old farmer of Reserve District Trelawney. She lived at a house that she shared with her sister. She is said to be the mastermind of her own sister's demise along with her two daughters. Shanice Ruddock, who was 21 years old at the time, and Heather, a 15-year-old minor. It is reported that prior to her death, Tamara Geddes damaged Nadine's water tank and that they had several disputes, which frustrated her sister. The co-accused are Owen Irving, Tashana Young, Brian Shelley and Rexton Knott. Owen Irving admitted to charging Nadine $230,000 to hire the alleged hitman that ended her sister, Tamara Geddes Live. Irving, who was 50 years old at the time, had also collected payment from Nadine to arrange the killing of her brother's girlfriend after she reportedly stabbed him to death during a dispute. 33-year-old Tashana Yan, the spouse of Owen Irving, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit murder as it was alleged that she also received a large sum of money to arrange the murder of Tamara Geddes. The hitman, Brian Shelley, 24 years old from Norwood in St. James, had reportedly agreed to carry out the murder for $500,000. And his caution statement alleged that Irving had pointed him to Tamara Geddes' home. On the night of the killing, during the night of Tamara's death, Nadine reportedly told her daughter that the men were outside in the yard. Rex and Knott, a 24-year-old welder, also from Norwood in St. James, was jointly charged with murder and conspiracy to commit murder in the matter, but pleaded not guilty and was set free. As the court had insufficient evidence to proceed against him, Nadine Geddes is serving a term of 20 years in prison at hard labor for the contract killing of her sister, Tamara Geddes. Her two daughters, Shanice Ruddock and the minor, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to murder and were both handed three years suspended sentences. Owen Irving, who hired the hitman, was sentenced to 20 years in prison. He keeps appealing his sentence saying it's too harsh but keeps getting denied. Tashona Young, spouse of Owen Irving, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to murder. She was sentenced to five years. Meanwhile, the alleged hitman, Brian Shelley, remains in prison and is yet to plead, as he is yet to settle legal representation. Like, follow, and share Jamaican True Stories for more.